Yeah, Rod, I'm at work and I can't waste all day on the phone. I just signed up for your Entertainer Max a couple of weeks ago and it's a fucking disaster. Okay, it's a fucking disaster. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, I'm just telling you what it is because, because the, okay, let me tell you this. The home phone doesn't work anymore. The home phone doesn't work anymore. The Foxtel's not connected. And, and, okay, okay, the, the, the reference is reference one hyphen, oh seven. Okay, okay, please, just, 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 that, that I have explained this to the flip Filipinos 10 minutes ago and I've just hung up from them. I want you to fix up the problem and come ring me back and tell me when it's going to work. No, no, I want you to, I want you to organise the departments because I haven't got all day on the phone to waste here. Okay, but can you put me through to the manager then, who, who's somebody who I can talk to about my problems because you don't seem to be able to help me. No, you just put me through, put me through to the manager and I'll talk to them, please. Just put me through to the supervisor. You're not able to help me. Put me through to the supervisor. Mm. Why not? Okay, home phone's not working. Home phone's not working. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what you took my money and now you, and it's not working. So I'll ring back the sales department. You can fix the damn thing. The cable's working, the the home phone's not working, and the Foxtel's not commissioned at the moment. For some reason, it's not active. I've put the credit card in. I've done that there, but the people haven't done it. So I want you... It was a tea box. Mm. No, I'm ringing the sales team because you're the people who put this bullshit flyer out. You put this bullshit, you put this bullshit flyer out and nothing works. You put this bullshit sales flyer out, so I'm going back to the salesman and saying, what the hell's the problem? Fix it. It's simple. I ring the salesman and say, I understand that you're giving me the runaround. I understand, I understand you're giving me the runaround and you're just going to flick me to five different departments who all need to repeat my phone number, go through the identification process each time and each one of them will be just as useless as, as, as the other third world country they came from. So it's, first of all, First of all, you need to provide a service that works. You need to fill out your end of the bargain and you need to make sure when you say you're going to provide a service, you actually do provide a service and don't ship it off to some third world third world country like the Philippines or India. I want you to tell me when is this going to be fixed. Okay. Can you put me through to Troy? He's in your sales team. Yes. I rang this phone number and I spoke to a Troy. You, they especially won't be able to help me. With, so you're going to just flip me off to some third world call center, aren't you? You've got to take responsibility. I can see why you're not going into management. If you're just going to buck pass and send it off to some, some, some other department, that, that seems to be the Telstra way, isn't it? It's called bullshit. You just you, you just got different departments be, because you just buck pass, right? I'm sick of the lies. I'm, I'm sick of the lies. I want this thing fixed. I'm ringing up and saying to you, I want this, the home phone's not working and the Foxtel's not set up. So before I go to the telecommunications ombudsman, I want you guys to fix it up. Sure, Paul, it actually counts under, it's my wife's name and I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I've got authority to act on it. It's her... Oh, fuck. Poor Pluto. Yeah, this is the fifth time I've explained this this morning, okay? Fifth time because none of you departments seem to have anything where once you've been verified once, the, each different department needs to verify. That's bullshit. Now, 
what are you going to do to fix this problem up? The home phone doesn't work and the foxtail's not working. Yeah. 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 Well, can you put me through the complaints? Because cause I think you need the sack. That's what you need. You need the sack because you're useless. You know, you, you know I mean, what's the point of you even working there if, if you just buck pass? Yeah, well, I think it's about time. I think it's about time you hear the reality of your product because it's shit, it sucks, and, and, and you should be ashamed of yourself for selling this garbage. You know that? You know that? You should be ashamed of yourself. How do you sleep at night selling this crap? How, how, how do you sleep at night when, when, you, when you... Well, I'm telling you, as a customer, your product is garbage, the service is crap, and... Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Mm. Mm. How come you can't help me fix the problem up? All I want you to do is get two little things fixed up. You're not trained. You don't seem to be trained in terribly much. Yeah, take the money and, and, and pass it off to some other shit call centre in India or the Philippines. Yeah, all in third world countries. All in third world countries. Most of them are in, in India or the Philippines. Yeah, and I, I ring you up to try and help help me fix up this thing and you just buck past me to another department. Well, for starters, the home phone's not working, so how am I supposed to make the phone call if the phone doesn't bloody work? Bloody hopeless, you know that? Bloody hopeless. Sure, telephone faults, give me that number. One, three, double, two. And for the Foxtel, what's the phone number for them to check? No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, T-Box, and what's the phone number for those suckers? You should be ashamed of the job you guys are doing. Your product is garbage. Your service is shit. Man, I, 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 honestly, I honestly think you should resign. This is a crap product you're selling okay okay thanks thanks a lot for back passing me and, and and not taking responsibility like a proper salesman and and, and just back passing it and palming it off you are slack you know that you should be ashamed of yourself you should you should you should be ashamed of yourself